In today's session, we will discuss only practical related. Whatever problems we do, that will be example problem, not exam problem. These are the four things we are supposed to learn. Your examination problems will be on forward charge and reverse charge. So before you start problem, before you go for solving problem, you should remember these are the points. You said that you send me the goods. If I like, I'll approve. Or else, I'll deny. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here. Lecture in Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session three of your topic called indirect taxation. Under indirect taxation, we are discussing time of supply. Now, now we are in the third session means first and second session, we went with some basic topic. Now, those are your theory oriented. Now, in today's session, we will discuss only practical related. So we'll go one by one, you will understand better. Your agenda is very simple. First one will be concept, meaning and the problems will be example problem, not exam problems. Again, I'll repeat, whatever problems we do, that will be example problem, not exam problem. Next session, we'll go with exam problems. First, we go with the concept of time of supply. Now, to determine time of supply of goods and services, four categories are provided as below which are those four categories first one time of supply goods and services under forward charge what is the first one forward charge second time of supply of goods and services under reverse charge the second part will be reverse charge and the third one time of supply in case of supply of vouchers I'll explain you about this. I told you in the previous session also. Now, and the last one, a residual class. These are the four things we are supposed to learn. Your examination problems will be on forward charge and reverse charge. You will get problems only on forward and reverse. Voucher and residual, I'll teach you, but the problems will be very less on this topic. Time of supply goods and service under forward charge. Remember, the first method we are discussing, that is forward charge. Now, time of supply of goods and service under forward charge. In case of goods, earliest of the following. We are talking about what? Goods. Here we are talking about services. Now, in case of goods, earliest of the following what is the earliest like date of issue of invoice by the supplier or last date by which he is required to issue the invoice just assume that on 14th he has to issue on 20th he has to issue like last day to issue invoice now date of issue of invoice when he issued invoice or last day he is supposed to issue invoice. Now, then date on which the supplier receives the payment out of these two earliest of the following. This is in the case of goods. What will happen? One will be the date he is supposed to receive, uh, he is supposed to give invoice or the day he has given invoice, whichever is earlier. Then date on which he receives the payment out of these two whichever is earlier we are supposed to take hope you are clear yes now in case of services <laughs> date of issue of invoice by the supplier if invoice issued within prescribed period as per forward charge remember 30 days i'll go in detail while doing problem under forward charge we go with 30 days. Now, date of provision of service if invoice is not issued within prescribed period. Now, date on which the supplier receives the payment in case of service earliest of the following. 
which are those three the date of invoice second one date of service provided third one date of service uh, payment received whichever is earlier clear this is in case of service and this is in case of goods now later you can take screenshot now some important points what are those important points in this time of issue of invoice for goods so before you start problem before you go for solving problem you should remember these are the points now if movement of goods involved in supply then before or at the time of removal of goods sometimes what happens the movement so in case of services the movement will not come goods movement will come for example you are in bangalore you are selling goods to tamil nadu now it takes minimum 8 hours 7 hours to transport that is called movement of goods second one if no movement of goods involved in supply then before or at the time of delivery of goods are making available to the recipient now sometimes the movement will be there sometimes the movement won't be there you are in mysore the one more person is next to you only so easy there is no transportation then if continuous supply of goods for example supply of oil etc now gas oil and all these comes under continuous supply continuous means it is not unit wise or once if i sold it is over not like that it is continuous like your lpg nowadays we have cylinder but in bangalore and few places you have connection i'll go with electricity electricity what happens it is continuous supply that is services but this is goods now you have agreed that i'll provide you 1000 units every day i'll give you one unit this is called continuous supply every day you have to manufacture you have to supply now time when each statement is issued time when each payment is received earliest of the following in case of continuous supply one is the time when you receive the payment the time when you prepare the statement hope you are clear yes now if goods sent for approval then earliest of the following for example i send you goods later you will check and approve now you said that you send me the goods if i like i'll approve or else i'll deny i'll reject now in this case time when it becomes known that supply is taken place r 6 months from the date of removal like i'll give you example i have given you this instrument to sell now i have given you you said that i use this if i like i'll buy or else i'll reject clear once again i'll repeat i'll give this pen as a sale what you said you said that i check this pen if i like i'll take or else what i will do i will reject now in this case i have given this pen up to 6 months you have not replied me then i consider at that sale hope you are clear yes time when it becomes now that supply is taken place r 6 months from the date of removal whichever is earlier should be considered as time of supply hope you are clear yes it is a normal one with movement without movement continuous supply and the next one on approval basis then second part time of issue of invoice for services so what is invoices like this is issue of invoice for goods this is issue of invoice of services now 
बिफोर आर आफ्टर द प्रोविजन ऑफ सर्विस बट विथ इन ए पीरियड ऑफ प्रिस्क्राइब ना वॉट इज दट प्रिस्क्राइब ना थर्टी डेज एज आई टोल्ड यू वॉट इज अ प्रिस्क्राइब डेट थर्टी डेज इन ऑल केसेस एक्सेप्ट फॉर बैंकिंग एंड फिनेंशियल बैंकिंग एंड फिनेंशियल वी के नॉट गो फॉर थर्टी डेज स्लैब ना इंस्टीट्यूशन फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ सप्ले ऑफ सर्विसेस ना फोर्टी फाइव डेज इन केस ऑफ बैंकिंग एंड फिनेंशियल रिमेंबर दिस वॉट इज द केसेस वी आर ऑल टॉकिंग अबाउट फॉरवर्ड चार्ज द फर्स्ट मेथड वी आर डिस्कसिंग आई एल शो यू वी आर ऑल टॉकिंग अबाउट फॉरवर्ड चार्जेस सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ विल कम लेटर नेक्स्ट सेशन ना बैंकिंग अदर देन बैंकिंग इट विल बी थर्टी डेज इन केस ऑफ बैंकिंग इट इज फोर्टी फाइव डेज ना ड्यू डेट ऑफ पेमेंट कैन बी आइडेंटिफाइड फ्रॉम द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट द इन वॉइस विल बी इश्यूड बिफोर आर आफ्टर द पेमेंट इज टू बी मेड बाय द रेसिपियंट बट विद इन थर्टी डेज आर फोर्टी वाई इट इज थर्टी एंड फोर्टी फाइव बैंकिंग एंड फिनेंशियल इट विल बी फोर्टी फाइव एंड अदर देन बैंकिंग इट विल बी थर्टी डेज ड्यू डेट ऑफ पेमेंट होप यू आर क्लियर यस नेक्स्ट ड्यू डेट ऑफ पेमेंट इज के नॉट बी आइडेंटिफाइड फ्रॉम द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट द इन वॉइस शेल बी इश्यूड बिफोर आर आफ्टर अगेन थर्टी फोर्टी फाइव डोंट गो इन डेप इट इज ओनली कॉन्सेप्ट ना दिस वन एंड दिस वन नॉट रिक्वायर जस्ट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द कॉन्सेप्ट ना योर थर्ड पॉइंट दट सप्ले शेल बी डीम टू हैव बीन मेड to the extent it is covered by the invoice or case may be the payment now so in the invoice whatever the payment conditions are there what is the mode of payment everything should be mentioned date of receipt of the payment by supplier payment is entered into the books of accounts or credited when we consider it as payment received the day when you enter in the book or the day it is credited to your account these two dates we consider as your received payment now almost we are in the end of this session your point number 5 and point number 6 optional time of supply what is optional time of supply now If amount up to rupees one thousand in excess of invoice amount is received, then the supplier may take the time of supply is the date of invoice issued. Normally, what happens? Normally, it says that receipt of payment or invoice date, whichever is earlier. receipt of payment or invoice date which ever is earlier but some cases what happens your invoice amount is almost lakhs together but you have received how much 1000 up to rupees 1000 the receipt of payment we will not consider we always go with invoice date hope you are clear now in case you have received 5000 now invoice date or payment received whichever is earlier but if you have received 1000 then your payment we will not consider only we go only with what invoice date hope you are clear yes now if invoice is not issued see invoice not issued only and date of payment or date of completion of provision of service also not ascertainable see invoice not issued payment not collected service provided no information then the time of supply shall be the date hope you are clear now there is no information about payment 
there is no information about invoice then what happens the time when you supplied goods will be considered as time of supply hope you are clear yes these are the topics we are supposed to discuss in today's session now these are very important if they ask you five or ten marks theory write about time of supply what you are supposed to do you have to mention these four points then you have to explain one by one now i'll go out of the screen please make screenshot of all this meaning your concept we are discussing about forward charge these are the points for forward charge point number 2 point number 2 point 3 and 4 point 5 and 6 so this is all about your today's session hope you understood please work out or please learn this theory at home thank you